you are stressed uh, because you have not engineered your own system to function friction-free. That is why in engineering. Let us understand this word engineering. You will only say something is well engineered when it functions the way you want. Whether it's a machine or a, an object or a device, you will say this is well engineered only when it functions at its optimal. Essentially, functioning means there are moving parts, not necessarily in terms of a bore and a piston, not necessarily in that sense, but there are definitely many functions happening which has to be in some kind of synchronization and alignment. When this alignment or when this synchronization or this what is needed is lubrication, if these things are not available to any functioning process, then there will be friction. Well, nature has its own engineering, the trees are organically engineered. Those which are not engineered properly for whatever reasons, the first wind <laughs> in the season, they will fall down. Those who have rooted themselves well, which is just engineering in their terms, they will stand for a long time and be fruitful in their lives, fulfill their purpose of life. Similarly for a human being, which is the most complex machine on the planet. Engineering is very important. The design, the basic design is fantastic. This is not our making, creation has done this for us. So complex, so sophisticated, so much in harmony with everything. But how we put the ingredients together, what kind of building material we put, how we manage that, because there is a psychological, emotional and energy dimension to this machine, which is not just a physical machine. Because of that, it is just like today, automobiles are not just mechanical machines anymore. There is a whole computer system, if the computer shuts down, you just can't drive them. Just like that, this is a far more complex machine. So this needs to be consciously engineered. If you do not engineer yourself properly, then you will see, there is stress. Let us not understand stress as just a mental condition. Stress is going right across the body. Today there is enough evidence to show that stress is in every cell in the body. Relaxation also is in every cell in the body. Today everything is being measured with inflammatory markers as a biomarkers to indicate our level of health, longevity and uh, possibility of ailments and disease and everything is being looked at this way, including one's mood and experience of life. This is because they're checking whether you're well engineered or not, whether things are functioning friction-free or not. This is why in engineering, a profound process within yourself to ensure that this machine, the most sophisticated and complex machine on the planet, functions friction-free. When this functions friction-free, then we say, this is a yogi. How are these two things connected? Well, because our functioning is not just within ourselves, it is also around us. So yoga means union, that means it is not you versus the universe. You and the universe are in some way merged and there is a harmony between the two and there is no friction either internally or externally. External friction is in many ways a consequence of internal frictions. If you are well engineered within yourself, then you engineer yourself as a larger being in this existence, then you are in a wonderful state of existence. When I say a wonderful state of existence, this does not mean that everything in your life will work out, but whichever way life comes to you, you are able to make a fantastic experience of the same. Right now, at these times, when there is a pandemic, now will you go through this gracefully? Will you grow, go through this in such a way, the best in you will come out or not? Simply depends upon how much friction there is within yourself. And to eliminate this friction completely, 
and be a wonderful, blissful being, no matter what kind of conditions the world offers to you, you need inner engineering.